My own personal hormone story was really in my 30s. I was a working mom. I was struggling. And like many women, I felt like I was pushing a rock up the hill. I thought that there was something going on that life really could have been a lot better. I went to my doctor and I was offered an antidepressant. And that was a defining moment because I realized, hey, I'm not depressed. I'm stressed out. I'm fat and frazzled and frumpy, but I wasn't depressed. So that was a defining moment. It was when I said, you know what? I have a hunch that my problem is hormonal. And in fact, that was the case. I had a problem with cortisol, estrogen, and thyroid. So I took them on, I fixed them in four weeks, and it just made a world difference in how I felt. So that's what led to me focusing on hormones and then writing a book about it, The Hormone Cure, and bringing this work to other women. So for the past 10 years, I've been helping women learn how to balance their hormones naturally, and it's, it just makes a big difference in their lives. It changes the conversation that we're having about how rich and full life can be. You know, when I was researching The Hormone Cure, I realized that so many lifestyle tweaks have been proven with the best evidence to really move the needle when it comes to feeling better fast. And so that's where I like to start. We know that about 95% of disease is either caused by or exacerbated by stress. So it is the number one reason why people go to the doctor. You know, a lot of people, when they think about stress, they say, eh, yeah, I should do something about it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. And I wanna make the case to do it today. I think one of the best things that you can do when it comes to getting cortisol into the target zone, you know, right-sized, is to hit the pause button and to be really consistent about hitting the pause button. I also really believe in connecting in a deep way with the people that you most love. When you have positive emotions, when you feel grateful, you know, as my kids come to the kitchen in the morning, I, I just love to shower them with love. There's something so powerful about feeling gratitude for the love that you have in your life, the connections.